Welcome back to Christian World News. It's been called the largest Christian event in Egypt's history. Dr. Michael Youssef's Leading the Way ministry held an evangelistic event in Cairo this month, and more than 17,000 people showed up to hear the gospel message. More than 7,800 7, people put their faith in Christ. Dr. Youssef spoke with our Gary Lane to tell us more about this event. The event in Cairo, and why did so many people turn out? Thank you, Gary. Uh, first of all, 12 months ago, I received an invitation from pastors and church leaders representing 27 denominations. And they said, we have never had an evangelistic outreach of that kind of magnitude. Would you pray about it? And so I prayed about it, and I felt, of course, I will come. It was an amazing experience. Uh, past midnight, people did not leave, did not want to leave, and they said, we just feel the Holy Spirit here. It's a foretaste of heaven, just praising God together. People from all denominations, from all backgrounds. And, um, and then God gave me a message from uh, Matthew 24, as it was in the day of, days of Noah, so shall it be before the return of the Son of Man. And I shared with them that this is the time to give your life to Christ. And people responded in ways exceedingly abundantly, as the Bible says, uh, than we expected. And that's nearly half the crowd responding to the gospel message. So what explains that spiritual hunger there in Egypt? I think there are many things that are going on right now. As you know, the war in the northern border is going on with Hamas, and then we uh, you know, inflation is 40% in Egypt. People are really suffering, and uh, that some are losing hope, and they want something to hang their hope onto. They want to have peace, and this is exactly the message I brought them, that you can have peace in Christ regardless of the circumstances and regardless of the uh, surroundings, and, uh, and it just resonated with them, and I praise God for that because... Uh, it was a simple message of gospel, and, uh, and the hunger was there, and, and all the preparation. I also have to tell you, there were people who have been praying round the clock for nearly 12 months. And so I, I always say this is God's answer to the prayers of the faithful people there. And uh, the instrument that God uses uh, to preach is really uh, neither here nor there. God can use anybody. Uh, but he responded to their prayers and to their faith and gave them what is going to be now an igniting of a movement. They're con going to continue. It's not going to stop. And so we, we praise God for all those people. They signed the card. They all are signed to be followed up. 90% uh, of them were uh, are going to be assigned to churches that they can go to, Bible-believing churches. And so we, we just rejoice in what God uh, has done. Now, at one point, you were urged to cancel the event because of the war in Israel. You referred to the Gaza war. How did you respond to that? Well, if, if I, I have some dear friends here in Atlanta. Many of them are uh, uh, my congregation. I'm their pastor. And I thank God that they love me. And they were coming to me and saying, you know, why risk? Uh, why go now? You know, the war and it could be spreading and... And I said two things. Number one, God knew 12 months ago when this was uh, planned that this is going to happen. It's not taking him by surprise. And the second thing, I said, can you imagine announcement made that uh, the evangelist is not coming because, you know, he's concerned about the situation in the Middle East. What kind of a God do I worship? And I said, there is no way I'm going to cancel this. I'm going no matter what. And I knew that I could trust God. This is God's plan. And we want to be on his plan, not ours. So how is the war affecting Egypt and the region? It, the pressure is, is, is mounting on Egypt, especially from Muslim Brotherhood and other factions who are criticizing the government. But I can tell you, President Sisi is a very wise man. God raised him up for such a time. He, he, he loves his people. And every decision he makes is for the benefit of his people in Egypt. And he's helping, he's putting, uh, sending a lot of aids and a lot of people coming for medical treatment and so forth. 
but he is uh, really consistently said that uh, we want to do what is right for our people. And I'm so grateful for him and the wisdom that God gave him, really. Finally, then, what impact is the war having on the church in Egypt, and how can we pray for them? Well, I, the, the, the churches are booming. I mean, the, uh, really, I mean, it, it, it is amazing what God is doing. Uh, you know, the evangelicals, uh, Protestant, I guess, uh, may have been uh, something like uh, 250, 300,000 back when I lived there 55 years ago. Now there are over 2 million evangelicals in Egypt and uh, about 10 million uh, Coptic Orthodox. And so God is doing amazing work and, 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 and bringing people to himself. They're seeing dreams and seeing visions and they watch our channel, Kingdom Sat, Malakot Sat in Arabic. And they said, he, they are preaching about the one that I saw in my dream. And then they call our contact uh, folks and uh, help lead them to Christ and disciple them. So please pray that God will keep that movement uh, that was ignited uh, to keep going for many years to come. Okay, that's certainly good news. Encouraging, Dr. Michael Yusuf. thank you for joining us. My pleasure.